I'm sick of waiting around for a good lead. Like it's gonna fly in here tied to a brick? It's time to take one. Uh, I think I don't I don't think they actually re-rendered those cutscenes. Like the those textures in the cutscenes look worse than in game. Mm. Because I think that they just took those scenes and reused them. Which, you know, whatever. It wasn't like horribly jarring. So this is uh I would say a typical uh noir setup. Everything is corrupt. We have a kind of hard kind of unscrupulous main character who's clearly willing to do bad things for personal gain which has to be part of any any noir uh, main uh, male lead why is he sweating? oh I don't know he has sweat glands I guess <laughs> well at least you're not hitting the bottle anymore hey Callie how you doing? So, how'd you make out of the poisoning? Well, let's just say that Sister Calabaza has a secret passion. For trains. You got a nun? Hail Mary. And you sold her a ticket on the number nine train. Choo-choo, little buddy. Say, how'd you score? Two nuns? Sure. A mean midget. Mm. Maybe we should tell the truth. I got two nuns, actually. Hey, that reminds me of this really funny joke. Heard it. I want to ask you a question. <laughs> Shoot, slugger. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you get all the good clients? You're asking the wrong guy. You should be taking a good long look at the man in the mirror. No, thanks. I don't enjoy that the same way you do. Uh, oh. We can ask Domino what he did to get this job. What did you do to get this job? You mean, what's my secret to success? No, I mean, how did you screw up and get stuck here at the DOD? What sin did you commit, and how long are you going to have to work here to pay it off? Well, I could easily ask the same question of you, but I don't know the answer. I still don't know what I've done. Well, how convenient. Then, uh, neither do I. I think he does. Does Manny know why he's here, or is that a, a fabrication as well? He sounded well, that's so all sincere. I wanted to ask for now. Well, kid, come back anytime you feel like continuing your education. Well, see you in limbo. Oh, that's great. We should do this more often. I don't. I don't know if I think that. I. I think that maybe Manny's lying about that. You're stealing his booze. Uh huh. Um, you gonna hey, note? Get out of there, Calavera! Can't do that while he's here. <laughs> All right. Um. So we need to break up this pattern where they just screw us out of the good clients by like not telling us that it's happening or telling our driver to go home. And I have a way of doing that. Mind if I use your hole punch? Knock yourself out. Thanks. Gets the aggressions out, doesn't it? <laughs> and I am going to use this playing card. Manny, what are you doing? Just marking cards, honey. Okay. Do I need to do that more than one? Any more holes and it would fall apart. No. He, I guess he punched a bunch of holes. Okay, so that's part of the equation. Uh, we also need to do something that will not be obvious at all. In like fact, that was obvious. No, that one is not <laughs> as obvious, but okay, I'll explain. What we're going to do is they distribute messages via a pneumatic tube. I'll never get out of this place. Uh, you and your fancy suits and your nose holes way up in the air, <laughs> sticking your empty beer bottles down the message tubes. How fancy is that? <laughs> huh? Don't you boys upstairs realize the tube switcher is a sophisticated and delicate piece of machinery? Huh? You think you're better than me? No. Good. 
So that was like both a somewhat humorous and you know like like it like that fit in to the to the setting and yet it is also a clue to the fact that this machine gets uh, gummed up rather easily and I can't see at least in a game like this I can't see a machine like that and not Object, take want it. Want to destroy it. Well, no. Uh, yes, you see that Manny's head turns when there's an object of interest. Oh, I didn't notice that. I just yeah, look. was like, see how he, thing. Now he's turning to his left to say, Let's look. See, where am I on this? <laughs> Don Copal, Domino Hurley, Junior Sales Associates. That better not be me. Hmm. Manny is not high on, in the pecking order. Now here we have these two chemicals. So we've seen two scenes which you could just have watched and taken in and enjoyed. But in fact, those scenes were hints to something. Namely that these two chemicals can be mixed to make a mess. <laughs> you never know when you might need a mess. So that's red, and oh, I need to make sure that I get blue in the next one and not screw up and get red again, because it's definitely... N I feel like Manny will do the wrong thing. I don't think that you... It's la not like now where like the guy will be like, well, I shouldn't do that. <laughs> They're not going to hold your hand on this guy. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to screw up that machine and then we're going to intercept the message that's probably not meant for us. Whenever. Okay. This is called leveling the playing field. It is. This is this is what you do, people. <laughs> don't don't just put up with what's going on. You need something? Take it. <laughs> Put one down. <laughs> Look out below. <laughs> and this, uh, this art style is very reminiscent of Full Throttle, isn't it? In that scene. Clearly a precursor to this, this game. They should remake that one. I Except feel like that will never happen. The guy's dead. So. Oh, the voice actor. But they didn't get any of the voice yeah. actors to come back for this. That's they didn't true. need to. <laughs> that doesn't sound good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I can't say that this remapping of the controls has been. What else is new? Is totally successful, but I feel like I'm getting caught on the walls and doors less than I did with the crappy tank controls. It's just not quite perfect. Oop, that's not the right way. And let's see what's going on. Oh. Hmm. That's unfortunate. I've just locked an open door. Strange, yet symbolically compelling. <laughs> that it is. So, see a thing, you should do it. Um, oh, not again. Ah, 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 ah. You trying to blow this joint sky high? That's a magnesium compound fire extinguisher. Spray that on this packing foam, and we'll both be riding the giant Roman candle out of here. That seems what? good to know. Why would they put something so dangerous in here? I guess they didn't expect this room to be full of hazardous <laughs> waste. Who would have thought? <laughs> All right. That. Uh, is yet another clue. So I don't so know. Yeah, blow that up at some point. Like they, it's definitely not hand holding, and these puzzles are definitely pretty. Good hard. enough for government work. But uh, I don't know. I feel like they put hints in, and they like did it in a really organic way. And if you're not paying attention, well. 
You should pay attention. Why well, aren't you paying attention? Even if you're paying attention, like I guarantee I'm gonna get stuck. Well. During this playthrough, and I have finished this game, and I know pretty much exactly where I'm gonna get stuck. But it's not here. So. Here, I need. It's locked. I need my marked card. Mercedes Colomar, client number 9308, blah, blah, blah. Died of chicken pox, time of death, yada, yada, yada. Aha, positive attributes. Volunteered time reading stories to dying children. That's good. That's really good. I think you're it, Mercedes Colomar. I think you're the one for me. Gladys, are you loco? What got into you? That was a company car. Oh, yeah. And it's even better company now. I'm in. <laughs> Eat dust, Domino. Buenos dias. You're not the nurse? No. You're not here to give me my medication? No, but I am here to ease your pain. Guess they couldn't save me, huh? No, but there's still a chance you could save me. That's a lot of responsibility, Mr. Calaveda. What makes you think I've been all that good? Miss Colomar. Meche, please. Meche. I can see it in your face and in your file here, where it says you're entitled to a first-class ticket to... Nowhere? What? Did I do something wrong? Not according to your bio. It was spotless. At least the part I read was. I'm not sure I like the implication, Mr. Calavera. Are you sure you're Mercedes Colomar? Yes. Would you like to see my birthmark? Sure. Where is it? It's wherever you guys put my skin. Anything about your past you haven't told me? Quite a bit, considering I've told you nothing. Did you kill much when you were alive? Very little. <laughs> never killed anybody? I have to confess, I never killed anybody. Not even a teensy bit of killing? Maybe I just wasn't trying hard enough. Were you a big shoplifter? Well, they accused me of it once. Really? But it wasn't my fault. That puppy followed me out of the store. Oh. Mean to animals? Oh no, I love animals. Once, when I was volunteering at an animal shelter, I... Just stop right there. <laughs> yeah. Ever cheated on your taxes? I've never paid taxes in my life. Aha. Uh -huh. I've never made enough money to be taxed. You know, it's mostly been all volunteer work. Uh-huh. Ever cheated on your husband? Mr. Calaveda, there's no ring on my finger. There's no skin on it either. I guess you'll just have to trust me then. Litter? Oh, Manny, is that the best you can do? Well... Work with me, Meche. Give me some dirt. Well, I could do something bad right now, if that would help. Wouldn't count. Sorry, I give up. Don't say that, Manny. Excuse me, but I have to go straighten this mess out. Sorry to be so much trouble, Mr. Calavera. It's no trouble, but please, call me Manny. I think that was a little bit overtly sexual in its connotation, which obviously is fits right in. I'm sorry I let you down, Manny. Uh, film noir was all about sex that was hidden because it was still you know, censorship. Right. Domino's door is locked. Uh, it's uh, often noted, but... Uh... Hey, funny bones! In my office! Now! <laughs> you vandalized company property in order to obtain secret information so you could take your illegally Let modified company so car and your unregistered driver and run Domino here off the road! All in order to steal a client from her legitimate agent! There's nothing legitimate about this place. You give all the good clients to Domino. Manny, now I'm embarrassed for you. 
You've embarrassed the whole office. I'm going to call the woman in here so you can apologize to her yourself. Ava, send in Ms. Colomar, please. She left about 15 minutes ago, sir. She said she had a long walk ahead of her and she wanted to get started. Walking? She had a ticket on the number nine! Why does she think she has to walk? That's the best package I could find for her. <laughs> now you see why I give all the good clients the domino! That woman was a saint and a shoe in for a double end ticket that she's not going to get because you just couldn't find it! And now, because of your little stunt, she's out there! On her own, walking by herself through the petrified forest, facing the demons of the underworld, alone and unprotected! This is her reward after a lifetime of hardship and public service? Her destiny stolen by some overreaching salesman looking for a fat commission he didn't deserve! Get in there and stay put until the boys downtown tell us what they want done with you. Someone's gonna take the fall for this, Calavera, and it ain't gonna be me! So, can we make some poison? Some poison? That sign on the wall says poison, and there's a machine there. Yeah. It that machine... Tanks. I don't believe that machine has poison in it. Oh. What's it for? Ooh, ick. It came out like soft serve ice cream, but judging by the smell, I think it's auto body filler. Auto body filler, like Bondo. It's Bondo. Oh, okay. okay. Do we have a receptacle? Uh, hang on. I don't think we need that right now. Oh. That you can't get too caught up in every little thing that you see. Hey, That's is anybody out there? So, Manuel, have you thought about what you have done? Who's out there? I'm you. Or rather, I was you years ago. Yeah, well, I'm me now, so get lost. <laughs> get me out of here. The only way out, Manuel, is to be taken back in. If you are truly still loyal to this company, declare it loudly. The management might hear and stick you right back in their fold. Hmm. Yeah? Well, I got something they can stick in their fold. You have to try harder than that, Manuel. A man's loyalties decide his destiny. The DOD runs a crooked game, and I intend to prove it. You would do that? That could cause this agency a lot of trouble. I'm gonna blow the lid off this place. Young man, you are an enemy of the Department of Death. Welcome to the club. Salvador Limones and guest. Yes. Where are you taking me? The IP the headquarters okay. of the LSA. LSA? The Lost Souls Alliance. We're a small group, Manuel. We're always looking for new soldiers. To do what exactly? We need help in our intelligence unit. You know Eva, of course. Manny? I was once a Reaper like yourself, Manuel. But I uncovered a web of corruption in our beloved Department of Death. I have reason to believe that the Bureau of Acquisitions is cheating the very souls it was chartered to serve. I think someone is robbing these poor, naive souls of their rightful destinies, leaving them no option but to march on a treacherous trail of tears, unprotected and alone, like babies, Manuel, like babies. What's your evidence? That's where you come in, Manuel. Or should I call you? Agent Calavera. Manny suits me fine. I'm not looking to join any military organization, Sal. I just want my job back so I can work off my time and get out of this dump. Well, you won't even be able to get out of this city without my help. Which means, of course, you won't be able to find that woman and you'll never get your job back. When you're ready to join the cause, Manuel, come talk to me. We might be of some use to each other. Okay. Uh, no part of this uh, of of this milieu is neglected. This music is uh, is perfect. Uh, not. I don't know if there's one thing about like the artistic choices that they made that I don't like. So you're not really a secretary. I'm a spy, Manny. Well, that's the last time we use that temp agency. <laughs> Any messages for me? <laughs> yes. Join or die. But I'm already... Again! Eva, you gotta get me out of town. 
They're gonna sprout me. You can't leave, Manny. We need access to the DOD computer network if we're ever gonna find out what's going on. And we can't access without a salesman like you. The computer IDs you when you log on. How does it do that? Fingerprints? I don't have any. Your teeth, Manny. Haven't you ever noticed your computer scanning your teeth when you log on? I thought that was just a power search. We need your teeth, Manny. We can't let you go. Sorry. We're gonna have to find a way to get that. Uh, I'm off. I'm not fight gonna the talk good to fight, her babe. that much. If you want to see all the dialogue options, buy the game. Yeah. And I, uh, I encourage you to do so. This computer shut off. We salvaged that unit when the company threw it away, but we have yet to get it working. When we do, we'll need you to get us into the system. I'll be long gone before then. We'll see, Manuel. They do not want us to leave. I want to talk to him. Can I do that? No, I can only, oh wait. Oh, he won't open the door to, oh, that door there will get me out of town. It's the only way out of town. So I have to do what they want. I'm off. Farewell, Agent Calavera. And viva la revolucion. Now, what Eva said, and you had to, again, you had to be paying attention is that she needs our teeth. Which is actually different than saying that she needs us. Yes. Now how are we going to do that? We have I seen it. Yet. We have seen everything we need. Uh, we just have to get it. And the first step in getting what we need is I've got to not accidentally walk into the boss's office. Hmm. All right. Hmm. Dom's office is empty. And Don has left his window open. Maybe a little unfair, because we actually tried this window earlier, yeah. and he said that he locks it. What the? I'm gonna go ahead and it take- It looks like a glowing hunk of coral. Yes, I'm gonna take the glowing hunk of coral. And there's nothing else of interest in there. Uh, we did not need teeth to get into the boss's uh, computer. Oh. <laughs> okay. So what do you think about this puzzle? That's any. I feel like anytime I mean, you have to moves. do things mu yeah, multiple times, that that like wreaks havoc with people. Because like you try something once and you think like, oh, well, it's stupid to try it again. Well, but I mean, something but happens. You're you right. want to see, will it do that every time? Yeah, there was a visual cue that something happened. Hey, pigeons. Okay, and now I don't think this is how auto body filler works, but let's try it anyway. Can we make a cast of our teeth? Well, somebody's teeth. Uh, no. Oh, no, that's right, because it's not. It's just one of those teeth. generic uh, tooth thingies, not a Yes, that is not just... a custom one like I wear at night. <laughs> no, we're going to use our teeth impression. We're just going to... Right, so we're making... Okay, got it. Hey, what did they do with Gladys? What did they do yeah. with Gladys? We're going to need to sort that out. All right, where is that? Uh, it's Domino's mouthpiece. Why am I carrying this around? Because <laughs> it's an adventure game. Philodent. Good for dents, great for dentures. It looks like it dispenses something called Philodent. Oh, it shit. stays here. I wanted to, like, use this. This mouthpiece is full of Philodent. Stick it in your face. Okay. There you go. Wow, that made a perfect impression of my teeth. And like quite a chalky aftertaste, too. <laughs> I, I think you have to, like, be not near anything. Hmm. And then just use these button, which is a little clunky. A little bit clunky. Not terrible. Just... Ever so slightly. Got something here that might interest you. Not perfect. And I keep 
that item in my hand, which is nice. So I can just give it to her. Manny, this looks like a perfect impression of your teeth. We can use this as a mold to make a fake set of teeth and get into the computer system that way. Good work, soldier. All right. Well, we're done. Aren't we? Open that door, Sal. I got places to go. Does that mean you're ready to join us? Okay, I'm in. What do I have to do? I'm going to build an underground army of souls to fight the injustice I have seen in El Marro. Communication will become vital as the Lost Souls Alliance spreads out. We'll need messengers we can trust. You want me to be your messenger? No, Manuel. Our numbers are small and our agents are too valuable to risk that sort of work. History shows only one messenger to be of use to a cause like ours. Carry your pigeons. Uh, how would pigeons fly with no uh, wings? Or no skin on their wings? If I grab it's some pigeons off the roof, will it. you let me go? No, I need to raise them from birth, Agent Calavera. I need you to bring me their eggs. Oh boy. Right. So. You're keeping me here because you need the eggs? Why are you still here, Calavera? Go get me an Air Force before it hatches. <sighs> okay. I'm off. Farewell, Fine. Agent Calavera. And viva la revolucion! Yeah, yeah. Now we need to go get some pigeons. And those pigeons are up on the roof. Do we have pigeon attractant? Hmm? How are we gonna catch pigeons? How are we gonna catch pigeons? Oh, we have those dead. No, we use those. Um, I have no idea. Uh -huh. Something silly. It's definitely something silly. I'm just trying to think what objects do we have right now, and nothing. First things first. We need to get up. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna have to figure out what they want here. When I hit use, which is the A, uh, a button, he climbs, but I know I need to like pick it up. Or I, what I need to actually do is I need to attach the coral. Okay, so Manny will just do the thing that I want if I do it that way. There we go. Why does it? It does that every time it comes out. Mm -hmm. I wonder if that's how Domino meant it to be used. <laughs> I'm gonna go with probably not. Yeah, unlikely. All right, and sure. That looks right. Is that terrifying? What happens to Manny if he falls? I don't know. Does he fall apart? I don't think so. Well, it won't let you, so... It, no, you can't die in this game, I don't believe. Uh, maybe one part, it's possible to die. But, like most LucasArts games, certainly... There's our eggs. Yes. However... Will they attack us? If I just try and go get them... <laughs> we hear... Something. Okay. Right. Now, what we need to do is scare those pigeons away. We have a fire extinguisher. What are pigeons scared of? Watch it! Not that, I guess. Run, you pigeons! It's Robert Frost! <laughs> okay, I can brandish Robert Frost, or I can put Maybe it in. Maybe that will scare them, eventually. We need something to lure them to Robert. Oh yeah, we have that big old bread. Yes, we do. Okay. Let's see if this is effective. So the pigeons peck through the, s the breadcrumbs and pop the balloon and scare the shit out of themselves. Very effective. <laughs> it's super effective. Right. right. Yeah, beat it, you lousy little ledge pickers. <laughs> but pickers. unfortunately, we lost Robert Frost. Well, we can you get must another. Come one. with me, young ones, for I am the Green Reaper. Man, a 
are those pigeons gonna be ticked? Is that as many as we need? Uh, yeah, I guess I, I tried picking up again and he wouldn't, so mm. that must be... All right, then. Uh-huh. Yeah, so you could see, like, his his face, like, he does look down, so you can kind of tell what he, is going to happen when you push the button, but it's not 100%. It's a little awkward. Agent Calavera and two guests. Check these babies out. Excellent, Manuel. With these, I can breed an entire army of winged messengers. Our revolution yeah, can spread now across the land, carried on the shimmering wings of justice, it's thanks a, to you. It's a boy Agent pigeon Calavera, pigeon. you are a friend of the revolution, Agent Calavera. And now, let me be of service to you. You thanks. must go to the town of Rubacaba, my friend. If you want to find your lost soul, how do you know where she is? I don't, but everyone who wants to get to the Ninth Underworld must cross the Sea of Lament, and therefore must go to Rubacaba to get passage on a ship. As long as you get there before she does, you'll find her. But it may be quite a wait. I'll wait as long as it takes. Manuel, are you in love with her? Love? Love is for the living, Sal. I'm only Just after her for one reason. She's my ticket out of here. Some tunnel. I'm all the way to the edge of the petrified forest. 